Hello viewers, welcome to K-Diagnostics, Dio here. Today we have a 2007 Bluebird school bus with the Cummings engine. The complaint on this school bus is the bus doesn't start. So it is a no crank, no start condition. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna confirm the complaint. After confirming the complaint, then we will talk about what directions we're gonna go so we can fix this bus. So let's go inside the bus and confirm the customer's complaint. All right guys, we are inside the bus. So we're gonna confirm the customer's complaint. Here is the ignition key. So I'm going to try to start this bus. So let's turn the key to the on position. So right there, the key is on. So now I'm going to crank it. So I'm turning the key to the start position. Nothing is happening. So look at the dash while I'm cranking it. I mean, while I'm turning the key to the start position. As you can see, when I crank it, all the lights on the dash go off. So this could be an indication of either a weak battery or a voltage drop somewhere on the starting circuit. And there's a clicking sound coming from this area. So let me try to crank it once again. So I'm gonna turn the key to the start position. I hope you can hear that clicking sound. Okay, so customer's complaint confirmed. The bus doesn't start. Okay, so at this point, what directions do we need to go so we can figure out what's going on with this bus? Well, let me turn the key to the on position again. Let's see the voltage on the dash. It should show us the voltage over here because we might have a weak battery. So let me zoom you guys in. So right there, the voltage is 12.2 volts. So 12.2 volts is not that bad. I mean, it's a little low, but it's not too bad. So this bus should have cranked when we turn the key to the start position. As you can see, nothing happens. So I gotta point out that the bus has been sitting for over two months now. So when you have a vehicle that sits for a long period of time, the batteries can go weak or maybe die completely, or you can have corrosion build up around connection points. So what we have to do now is we have to check the starting circuit and see if the starting circuit is good because we have to make sure that the starter is receiving power to crank the engine. Okay, we have to make sure that the starter is being energized so that it can crank the engine. So now what we need to do is, I wanna go to the battery and take a measurement at the battery. I wanna make sure that the voltage we have here on the dash is close to the voltage we have at the battery. After taking the voltage measurement at the battery, then the next thing I will do will be inspecting the starting circuit. So the starting circuit on this school bus is composed of a starter motor, a starter relay, a fuse or a fuse breaker, an ignition switch, a battery and the wiring that connects all these components. So now what we need to do is let's go to the battery first and take a voltage measurement at the battery. Then we will go to the starter relay to see if we have power and control on this starter relay because the switch over here is what energizes the relay then the starter relay sends power to the starter on the signal wire to crank the engine okay so now let's go to the batteries and take a voltage measurement all right guys so here are our batteries we have three batteries mounted in parallel so i have my voltmeter over here and it's set up on the voltage scale. So let's just take a voltage measurement on this battery. So as you can see, we are reading 12.69 volts. So right there, as you can see, our batteries are not weak. So our batteries are charged. So now what I wanna do is 
I have to find the starter relay and take a voltage measurement at the starter relay. We have to make sure there's power at the starter relay and the signal when we turn the key to the start position. So the starter relay is located over here. So this over here is the fuse panel. So there's a fuse panel over here and there's another one below here on the frame next to the engine. So that's where we're gonna go so we can get access to the starter relay. So I'll crawl under the bus so we can get access to the starter relay. So now let's do that. All right guys, so we're here under the bus and here is our engine compartment fuse panel. So we're gonna open this fuse panel and our starter relay is gonna be in here. So let's, let's undo this. So here comes the fuse panel. So I'm gonna show you the fuse and the relay layout. So here is the layout of the fuse panel. I'm sorry for the glare guys. So here is the starter relay. Okay, so right there. K1 starter relay. And over here is the ignition relay. So what do you see here guys? Right off the bat, I see the problem. As you can see over here, there is too much rust around this power terminal and this ground terminal is actually off it's supposed to be down over here so as you can see it came off so this is the ground point and this is the power point and as you can see there's a lot of rust on them and back here is the starter relay as you can see the terminals of the starter relay are really rusty so this is causing excessive voltage drop which is preventing the starter from cranking the engine so the starter is not receiving current to crank the engine because of the voltage drop over here okay this is causing higher resistance in the starting circuit so now what we're gonna do is I'm going to remove these terminals so the ground point and the power point I'm gonna remove them clean them I'm gonna replace this point over here and that one I'm also gonna remove the starter relay I'm gonna clean it up really well and then I'll put it back together then we will try it and see what happens so I will clean these terminals and then I'll bring you guys back up I'm pretty sure this is the problem I'm pretty sure once we clean these terminals and put everything back together this is gonna start so right over here as you can see this over here is slightly better but it's also rusty okay so and we're also gonna double check these fuses that make sure there isn't a blown fuse over here but let me clean up this corrosion let's make sure we take care of this rusty points over here and then I'll bring you guys back up so we can see what happens so I will clean these terminals I'm gonna clean the terminals on the starter relay and then I'll bring you guys back up Alright guys, so here is the starter relay that came out of the school bus and one thing I noticed is there is water inside the relay. So I don't know if you can see, you see this, this is water coming out of this relay. So this relay is defective. So I'm gonna try to open it. Let's see if I will be able to open up this relay. I mean water inside a relay is a bad thing so right there I mean this relay is definitely bad we're gonna have to replace it but I just want to open it and see how it looks on the inside so there comes the relay So as you can see, there's definitely water inside the relay. So how does this look to you guys? Watch. You see the water that came out of the relay? Okay. 
So this relay is defective. I'm gonna have to inspect the gasket on the fuse panel. I'm sure the fuse panel gasket is allowing water to get inside the fuel panel because this water shouldn't have been here, okay? A relay is not supposed to have water in it. Since there's water in it, that's caused by a leak coming from the fuse box panel, okay? So we're gonna get a new starter relay. I will clean all the terminals of the power and ground wires of the relay and the other wires in the fuse box and then I will bring you guys back up so we can install the new starter relay and then we'll see what happens so I will order this relay once the new relay comes in I will bring you guys back up so we can install it and then see what happens I'm sure once we replace this relay we will be able to start the bus so I will get this relay ordered and then I'll bring you guys back up once I get the relay man look at the water in the relay so this relay was filled with water so i'll bring you guys back up once i get the new relay all right guys so we are back here in this school bus this is about three days later i got a new starter relay so here is our new starter relay let me show you the part number uh, here's the part number for the new starter relay and these two power points so i'm gonna get this relay out of the box so here is our brand new starter relay okay so we're gonna go back under the bus and install this relay we're gonna install this relay and we're also gonna clean all the eyelets of all the electrical wires and then we will start this bus so now let's go under the bus and get this relay installed. All right, so we're back here under the bus. Let's open this fuse box over here, this little fuse panel. All right, so our relay goes over here and those power points go right there. And as you can see, these eyelets are rusty. Okay, so I'm gonna clean these off camera. I don't, I don't have to show you how I clean these. These are really easy to clean. You can use some sandpaper or maybe a file and file them down just slightly, you know, to get rid of this rust, you know, and all these eyelets. I'm gonna clean all of them. I'm also gonna clean these ones over here. So once I get everything cleaned and then I will install the new starter relay and these power points over here once i get everything installed then i'll bring you guys back up so we can start the bus so i will do that and then i'll bring you guys back up all right guys so i have installed a new starter relay remember the old starter relay had water in it so this is a new relay that i just installed it's all connected and ready to go I also cleaned up these cables over here. This is a power supply cable and this is a ground supply cable. I also replaced these studs over here, these junction points. Remember the old ones were rusty, so I replaced them and I also cleaned these cables. So now this vehicle should be able to start. Remember this bus wasn't starting before. So if we made the right call, after reconnecting the batteries, this bus should start. So now let's go to the battery tray and reconnect the batteries. Then we will go inside the bus and start it. So now let's go to the battery tray. All right, so I reconnected the batteries. So now let's go inside the bus and start it. All right, guys, so we are inside the bus. So now we're gonna verify our repair. Remember, this bus wasn't starting before, so it was a no crank, no start condition. We checked the starter relay. We noticed that the starter relay had water in it, and there were a couple wires that were corroded in the fuse box. So we replaced the starter relay. We also cleaned up the corroded wires that were in the fuse box. So now everything is good to go. If we made the right call, this bus should start now. So I'm going to put the key in the ignition. 
So let's turn the key on. Let's wait a little bit. So this bus wasn't cranking before. So right now, if the problem was just the starter relay, this bus should crank and start. And uh, I did do some checks off camera before I completely condemned the relay. I checked the wiring. I also checked the wire from the relay all the way to the starter. That wire is good. So I'm pretty sure right now when we crank it, this bus will start. So now let's crank it and see what happens. So right there, the bus just started. That's awesome. So this is very good. Yay, it's fixed. So that's good. The problem was a defective starter relay. So I'm gonna leave it right over here, guys. I'm working outside, it's so hot. So this is fixed. This bus is now running. So the problem was a defective starter relay, okay? I'm gonna turn off the engine so we can wrap up this video. I will drive this bus back to the shop so we can check everything before we return it in service. I'm gonna give it a once over before we send it out. So I'm gonna turn off the engine so we can wrap up this video. Actually, let me start it again just one more time. So right there, as you can now see, the bus runs, the engine runs good, so this is fixed. So now let's wrap up this video. All right guys, so this is fixed. Like I said, I'm sorry if I'm being so uh, repetitive. The problem was a defective starter relay. When I was called to look at this bus, I was told that the bus wasn't cranking it ran a couple of days before this issue came up. They left it here and then it wouldn't start back up. So right off the bat, the first thing I wanted to check was the starting circuit because it wasn't cranking at all. So I wanted to make sure that the starter relay was getting energized and the starter was actually receiving power on the control side of the starter solenoid. I mean, I was wanting to see if the starter solenoid was being energized which wasn't happening so i went straight to the starter relay we did some checks and once we opened the fuse box we saw how rusty the other wires around the starter relay were and when i removed the relay i could see water coming out of the relay so this was a pretty easy one i'm gonna leave it right over here guys i hope you like this video if you do like the video give it a thumbs up if you don't give it a thumb down if you do, you gotta tell me why so we can make better videos in the future. If this is your first time here, subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.